Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm hoping the audio is a lot better now. I got me a microphone finally. It's a, actually a calibrated mic used for like measurement kind of things with speakers. But it's the dirt cheapest one I could find. It was less than $8 shipped from America. So we'll see how it goes. But the subject of this video is a cool little pickup I got. I bid on it and won it for $9.99. The shipping is what cost the most, so the grand total was $29.50. And first I'll show the box of it because I'm getting ready to dispose of it. Alright, so here it is. <clears throat> Automatic voltage regulator. Apparently, there's at least four different ones. 3,000 watts, minus the 5,000, 8,000, and 10,000. <coughs> This kind of says a little more about it. Let's see which way it would be the right direction. Allowing electric items to be used during fluctuations. Quit with the delay. So, what I think, I haven't really done a, re a lot of research on this, but what I think it was mostly for originally was like military use when they had kind of spotty voltages, maybe. There were spikes and dips in the voltage, and this thing would regulate it out by delaying it. And uh, But the whole reason I got it, <clears throat> well, I'll show it to you here in a minute, but like, you know, in America we have the 120 voltage, and I can run items at uh, 110, and I can run items at 220 volts. So no matter what I order online, no matter what country it was made for, I'll be able to run it now with this. I mean, as long as it's less than 5,000 watts, I guess, which is quite massive for me so that's pretty cool because I mean you know I think um, Japan has like a hundred volt power system and I could always use my um, uh, what's it called variac you know to drop it down but I could never step up the voltage from 110 to 220 and with this I'll be able to and for $30, I gotta say, that's a pretty good deal, because when I looked this particular model up online, it seems like I'd have to look again, but this was like a $200 item, so I'm pretty pretty excited about that. And here's the item itself. It's uh, pretty massive. It's, I think the box on it said 30, yeah, 38 pounds. I haven't weighed it myself, but I would imagine it's every bit of 38 pounds. Oh, and there's the front of it. Basically just a nice heavy duty switch. The selection between 120 to 240 or 80 to 140 and delay and undelay. And the back of it is where the actual voltage outputs are. And it's very odd looking. I haven't never seen any like that. Uh, I don't want to lay it down on the front of it. But, you know, I tested putting a plug in here and it does indeed fit. I think a little modification I'm going to do is hopefully you can see that, but you know, this side is the 220 and this one's the 110. I might want to color this plate right here red so I know, you know, watch out, don't plug a one den item in there and screw it up. Oh! But I want to open this item up and check it out. I mean, I've already tested it and know it does work. And it does put out 220. But, it's got this very odd plug. I'm assuming this is a European plug. It kind of looks like it has a removable ground, I don't know. The only thing I got in the bundle was this plug and this adapter. And yeah, I don't like this adapter. It's uh, already cracked right here. And when you plug it in, it doesn't seem to go down all the way. Maybe that's why it's cracked. So I'm going to put a lot of force on it. And when you plug it in, you know, it's just really wobbly. And I don't particularly like that. So I definitely want to change out this plug. And this is a nice thick cable. I don't know if I have any quite that thick. So I would want to stay with the same plug and just put a different tip on it. Or when I open it up, if I can happen to find a thicker plug maybe, I wouldn't want to go smaller. 
because then it wouldn't be 5,000 watt cable anymore. So yeah, I'm going to open it up and check out what's inside. Because, <clears throat> you know, as is, this is a non-polarized plug. And, you know, I don't know which one is supposed to be live and neutral. I guess it doesn't really matter, but I would like to open it up and check it out. Looks like there's going to be 16 screws. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on this side, 6 on this side, 4 on top. That's assuming I don't have to take these off, which I doubt it. So I'll probably spare you having to watch me take out a bunch of screws. So that's all the screws out. Time to lift the top up. Good day. Now that is a transformer. <clears throat> Man. <clears throat> Let's see. I do happen to have this little ruler, clear ruler, so not very good for video, but it's like 13 and a half millimeters across. And how tall? About 15. Well, centimeters, I mean. Yeah, I don't use centimeters and millimeters, so. Man. Alright, so what do we got going on here? Circuit board has a lot of relays. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight relays. Big ass relays at that. And then just a bunch of discrete components. Capacitors, diodes. Resistors. <clears throat> I see a trim pot. But as far as the plug, yeah, okay, the plug will be easy to replace. It does have three, three, and the, uh, you know, the end of it only had two, and what looks like could have been a ground at one point. See, uh, right now, as is with this or this, it's not grounded, so. We have a green wire and a blue wire. And then a brown wire going. What does the brown wire go to? Oh, it goes to the power switch. And then comes out as red, I assume. Yeah, that's a jumble of wires. Huh, what's this? Looks like it's broke, just laying in the bottom. Not sure what's up with that. Oh, looks like it came from right here. Well, that's not good. Probably happened during shipping, being how heavy it is, but this thing looks good still. I've tested it and it worked fine. Well, that's what the inside of one of these looks like. I don't really know what else I could show you basically just a big ass transformer and a bunch of relays but that's pretty cool for 30 bucks I'll be able to run anything in the whole world no matter if I order it and it I accidentally order the 220 volt version which has never happened before but I mean sometimes I can find easily find 220 volt items and or find them cheaper and uh, now it wouldn't matter I'd be able to use it anyway well, thank you for watching. Well, just in case anyone has this particular model and is in the same situation of wanting to change out this plug, I've identified that the, the top, the one in my particular case, doesn't have anything in the hole there. That definitely is the ground. It, it grounds the transformer to the case. And that is the green wire. And... The brown wire that comes out of the line here, you know, it, it becomes a red wire, but it goes through this, uh, the main power switch. And that, you know, if this is the ground, then this one is the red wire, or brown. And this side is the blue wire coming off of the main plug, and it goes to the back of the case. So blue on the back, brown 
slash red to the power switch and the ground. So now I know how to properly put a you know a better better adapter than this right here. Well, I guess that's about it.